Hello, Lisa Casey here. We are on Kahoot, and this is how you can share your Kahoot with students so that they can play. Um, we are in Kahoot, and I found a quiz that I want to share with my students. So I searched in that Discover tab. I have my quiz open, and it could be one found or one that you created. This screen looks the same. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click this play button. So we have two different options here. This one is a live game together. So we can do this either on Google Meet or if we're lucky enough to be back in person, we can do this in class with students. So I can teach it, we can do it together at the same time, or I can play it at a self-paced learning for students. Students complete it at their own time. They can do it for homework. They can do it away from class or away from our synchronous time together. So this one is synchronous learning, this one is asynchronous. So if I want to do this synchronously, I'm going to click that teach button. And this is how uh, we'll get our students to play. So we can either do team versus team where students share devices. So it's a great way for students to work together and collaborate on questions, or you can play one to one where each student has their own uh, device. Down here we have these options. We can not use that because it's premium, but we can turn on or off the nickname generator. Again, careful with this if you wanna actually look at the data afterwards to see who's doing what. We have the music we can change, question order, order of answers. Um, th these things you can allow students to rejoin if they want to, if you wanna move it again. Um, I do like to automatically move through questions if we're just going kind of one at a time. But if you turn this off, that means you get to go to the next, qu next question. You control the pace. So this is a great way if you keep this off, a really great way to teach and talk about the questions as you go. So when I'm ready, I'm going to click that classic button. And then this is my screen that I'm going to want to display for my students. So my students are going to type in www.kahoot.it and then enter that game pin. So let's just see what that looks like. Kahoot.it. I'll enter this game pin. I can enter my nickname. And now you can see that my students are starting to populate here. So once your class is in, once you have all of your students here that need to be here, then we're ready to start our game. And notice too, as people populate, if I click that little button, I can cross that name out and remove that student if their name is inappropriate or if it's not the right person, I can get rid of people that way. I can click this button here if I want to when I'm ready to lock the room and not let anybody else join, I can click that little button to lock it, and then I'm going to start. So here is the teacher screen. This is what I'm displaying on the computer on the screen so my students can see these questions. And this is what the student view is. So here's my question. And then here's what the student screen looks like. So there are no actual answers typed out. It just looks the same for every question, no matter what you're doing. So students will look at this screen. The screen has to be displayed so they know what question they're answering and what the answers are. And students will select uh, their answer as best they can. Okay, so you'll see the student screen shows it is incorrect. One student answered blue, one student thought it was in North America, and zero students thought it was where it actually is. So this, if you're displaying your screen, students can see this. They can see how many people are doing doing well, how many people don't know what they're doing at all. And you have the ability here, because it's self-paced, because you control the pace of it, you can talk about where it is, you could pull up a map um, and help reteach before you move on. When you're ready, you can click next and it will show the leaderboard. So this will show your students and how they answered. Because it's only me here, uh, it shows that I have zero points, which is pretty embarrassing, but it will show the leaders first. So actually it will populate the students who are answering the questions correctly. And Kahoot does fun things too, like it tracks who answers first, who has the longest streak of correct answers. Um, so Kahoot is a really good way to 
add that competitive side to things and get students to engage a little bit more that way. In Kahoot, as you are looking at a lesson or a, a Kahoot that you want to share, you, when you're in this lesson, you have the ability with these three dots to preview what your Kahoot will look like. So if you are ever wondering what the teacher view is or what the student view is, you can use that preview button to see, okay, this is what the teacher view is, this is what needs to be displayed, and here is the student view. So you can work through this um, preview option just like I showed you. So if you're ever wondering what the student view looks like or how you might display it, you're gonna click that little preview button in the Kahoot that you're looking at sharing with students. And that is how you can share your Kahoots with students synchronously, asynchronously, or how you can preview them if you need a reminder of how it works. Thanks for watching.